Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Fast NG Transfer TV. So the ancient city of Benin was swell with the gale of depression yesterday, as the governorship aspirant of the Labour Party and prominent member of the obedient movement, Honorable Lucky Ubino, called a press conference at Holy Place and Kenswaru to announce that he and his followers would not be supporting the candidacy of the Labour Party candidate Barista Olumide Apata in the 2024 Edo governorship elections. Please be a new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from this channel. Honorable Yobi, your basic decision on the just concluded shady primaries conducted by the Labour Party leadership in Edo State. He said he called the press conference because he believed it was important to let the public know that the obedient movement does not belong to any political party. His word. The Labour Party in Edo State has so far demonstrated every contradictory arrangement to what obedience believes in. And that is why we have to urgently inform the people that they shouldn't be misled. We have come to tell the Edo people and the Edo's in the diaspora that the obedient movement washes its hands like courteous pilots in the Bible clean from Edo Labour Party and its candidate Olumide Apata. Earlier that same day, another group called the Edo Obedient Movement met to issue a statement pledging loyalty to Bitobi, but also condemned the failure of the Labour Party to position itself as a credible alternative to the PDP and the APC at the Edo primaries. Address journalists at the NUG Secretariat in Benin City, the group's spokesman, Mr. Iebo Figo, said that the Edo Obedient Movement was passing a vote of no confidence in the Edo Labour Party governorship primaries process, the Labour Party leadership and the primaries governorship candidate, Barista Olumide Apata. He said, the Labour Party controlled the worst primary election in the state. We witnessed a situation where some compromised party executives at the national, state, local government and world, the openly and the shamelessly traded the party's governorship ticket to the highest leader. Figure for that alleged that the primaries were dollarized by certain aspirants, who claims compromised party executives with a reign of dollars to alter delegate list and secure the party ticket. 